You want to know if your player can see a certain actor or not. Well, for the most basic version of that, we have this function called was actor recently rendered, which tells you whether or not within the last X time this actor was rendered. But that comes with a couple of caveats. The most important being, this doesn't take into account any sort of occlusion. This just checks, hey, was I within the view cone of the player? So if this actor was within a view cone, but behind a wall, this would still return true, which is maybe not ideal. Although it makes for a fantastic initial check before you start doing more expensive operations, such as this thing that I have here. This is on screen by traces. This is a function that I made, which takes in a mesh, gets all of its sockets names, and then for each loops. Over those, it gets the sockets location in world space and does a line trace to that position starting from the camera controllers player camera manager and then the camera location making sure to ignore the player pawn then from the out hit we just check hey whatever we hit was that this actor because if it was any other actor that means there's something in between the camera and this actor meaning that it's not going to be visible but if the actor that was hit by the line trace is in fact this actor itself that means that we can go through this branch with true and return a true value for this function. If, however, we get to the end of the for each loop without any of those returning, we can just return false because it's gone over every socket in this mesh and none of them were unobstructedly visible to the player. So then we can just return false. If you wanna see a more in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to set this up, that's linked to this short and you should go check it out.